I'm DJ Kiss. I am a New York-based um, DJ, blogger, and personality, and girl about town. What would I like people to know about me? Well, I'm a Southern girl. I um, am a big family person. I am really passionate outside of music about um, lifestyle, beauty, um, fashion, and just things that, you know, enhance people's lives. I'm from Baton Rouge, Louisiana, and if someone were visiting, I would take them to my parents' house. My mom is an amazing cook, and they are a true example of what Southern hospitality is all about. Right now, my husband and I are taking meetings with um, different production companies. There's been a lot of interest in um, doing a show about our crazy lives as being married in-demand DJs. Um, and beyond that, I am relaunching my fashion blog at the beginning of the year and really helping my husband. He does a lot of production. So I like kind of like not ghost produce, but I like say, yeah, baby, put the hi hat there. <laughs> like, you know, I give him input and he's also um, launching a t-shirt line. So I'm helping him with that. Paris. I know it's kind of cliche to say, but I love Paris. It's so romantic. I love going there with my husband and shopping and walking the streets at night. It's just a very picturesque and beautiful place and I always um, enjoy every chance that I get to go. My inspiration when I'm working is really seeing people have a good time. Um, I love music, but what I love more than music is I love to play someone's song. I love to see that reaction when you play that song and they're like, oh, I love this song. That kind of makes my night. So I'm always inspired to kind of figure the cry crowd out rather um, and make sure that everyone has a good time. One of my biggest challenges um, when I started DJing is that there weren't that many girl DJs. And so it took a lot of time to really um, prove myself within the industry because you had all of these guys who were music lovers and music connoisseurs and they were kind of like, what is this girl doing? So um, I just really dedicated myself to my craft for the first three years. Like that's all I did was DJ. I didn't do anything else. I'm not, not exaggerating. Um, and then when I got a chance to show and prove, I had already practiced and done the, the legwork. So people were able to say, oh, wait a minute, hold up, this girl knows what she's doing. Um, so that was a big challenge. It's a little different now because there are lots of girl DJs, but when I started several years ago, it was still kind of a novelty. When I started DJing, um, I looked up to Beverly Bond. I still look up to her. I mean, she's amazing. Um, but she was one of the only girl DJs I'd ever seen other than like Spinderella. But Spinderella was on TV and she was part of Salt and Pepper. But like a DJ you could reach out and touch was Beverly. She was at the parties rocking, you know, not only looking amazing, but rocking the crowd. And, you know, I didn't even really want to be a DJ at that time. I just remember thinking, wow, what a gorgeous girl. And she's killing it. Like, this is awesome. There's one quote that always stuck with me, and I think it is um, something to always keep in mind. I don't even remember who said it, who to attribute the quote to, but it says, most people would rather be certain they're miserable than to risk being happy. And that just really resonated with me because I've always been the type, I just take responsibility for my own happiness. If I'm not happy in a situation, I need to figure out what I can do to change it because ultimately you're responsible for your own happiness. As a female DJ, fashion is really important to me because I'm the performer for the evening. So not only do I need to sound great, I need to look great. Depending on what type of job I'm booked for, I will dress, you know, very differently. If I'm doing a corporate event, obviously, you know, I'm not going to wear like a low cut bustier and short skirt. But if I'm DJing a nightclub, that's actually perfect. Um, if I'm DJing, for instance, we, my husband and I got to DJ for President Obama a couple of years ago. So, you know, I had to step it up. You know, I knew Michelle would be there looking beautiful. So <laughs> I wore a really pretty gown. Um, but then, for instance, if I am 
doing my party that I do with my husband every Wednesday. It's a classic soul kind of funky vibe. So I'll make sure that my dress kind of mirrors that. I'll wear something, you know, a crop top that night or maybe, you know, I'll wear sneakers because I'm going to dance when I'm not DJing. So it really depends on my night and the type of gig that I'm doing. The song that's the soundtrack of my life would have to be When Doves Cry by Prince. It is just like my favorite song. I could hear that song 20 times in a row and never get tired of it. And as soon as I hear the first notes, I just like lose it. I don't know something about that song. The lyrics are fun. It's just an amazing song. If I could have dinner with anyone, I would have dinner with Michelle Obama, our first lady. Um, she is just the most amazing woman, and she's such a great representation of black women. And I would love to have dinner with her and just really find out more about how she became the incredible person that she is. Hey guys, I'm DJ Kiss, and you're watching The H-List, brought to you by Marriott.